Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. Bella's Bargains, take 21. <laughs> you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose like a light bulb. And if you ever saw it, saw it. you would even say it glows like a light That's bulb. That's it. All of the other reindeer, reindeer used to laugh and call him names. Like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Like Yahtzee. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him. Loved him. And they shouted out with glee. <laughs> Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Reindeer. You'll go down in his story. Like Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Okay. Go go to work now. I filmed the looking like this because he has to leave. Come here. Bye. Come on. And, um, and I wanted his input on that funny song. All right. But I want you guys to notice I'm wearing today. I'm actually going to wear this for work. Oh, hi. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name's Amy. <laughs> I'm going to wear this to work. So Reba, really good bestie Reba, sent me some gnome stuff. And this was part of it. This gnome scarf, which I absolutely love. And so I'm going to wear it today. Barely not right now. No, I'm totally going to wear it today. Um, and so I put it on because, Reba, today I made something with some of those gnomes that you sent me. Now, I'm in here. I'm, I'm literally filming this in my robe because I woke up this morning at 5. I got it, made my craft, and then Marcus had to go off to work. Let me show you how to put this on. So I twist it, and then I'm going to come back down underneath and not it. We're going to see if this works. I'm not even looking at a mirror. You can't really call the camera on here a mirror. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to wear my scarf today. I'm not sure I did that right, but close enough, right? So I love the gnome scarf. Anyway, look at my hair. This is because I literally just got out of bed and came and made my craft into Okay, whatever. So, um, so Reba sent me this scarf, which I love, and some gnomes. She also sent me, the, sent me the little boxes, and I made the Christmas tree stand with those. But today, I made the simplest craft. It's so simple, and yet it's so adorable. So let me just show it to you. Oh, by the way, if it's your first time here, you've landed on day 21 of my 25 days of straight Christmas crafts, Dollar Tree Christmas crafts. And um, it's been so much fun. I have, what, four days left? 22, 23, 24, 25. I have four crafts left. And I'm not even sure I know what they are yet. I know I'm doing a nativity scene. Is it Maria that you want a nativity scene? Doing it on Christmas Eve because I really feel that's appropriate. And I don't know what else I'm doing. I have to go hit my Christmas tote in the garage to figure out the other ones. Okay, but um, today we made something that's super cool. By the way, if you want to watch the other 25 days of Christmas, the playlist is linked down below. So you can go into my description box and watch them all. If you've never been on this channel before, it's Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. Effingham, say Merry Christmas this morning. Effingham. You're looking a little tired today, Effingham. I know, it's been an early morning. I woke him up very early. The lights come on and he goes, mm. like, why are the lights on? I'm sorry, I think I might have to make a craft. You know this. All right. So I'm so excited about this one because it's so cute. And um, my husband walked out and he went, that is so beautiful. And I'm like, huh? I wouldn't have said beautiful, but thank you, honey. I don't think it's beautiful. I think it's adorable is a way better word to use. All right. Let me just show you what it is. So this is my gnome wreath. I'm gonna tell you guys something. There's no gluing. Well, I did. I glued the sign, one corner of the sign, just to keep it there. That was it. Which I should unglue. I should unplug my glue gun because I don't need it anymore. Today. All right. <clears throat> and I thought I was gonna use my ski ornaments in it. I didn't. 
I could have, I didn't. I just, I ended up sticking with just gnomes. So let me talk about this, you guys, because I want you to notice something. You can see the wreath form. I don't care. I actually like that. Wait till you see it in, in a, the picture after I'm done talking. You'll see it in a picture and it's hanging on a door. It looks so adorable. This is like no sew, no glue easy. It's a wreath. It's just a round wreath. But what I want to show you guys is what I do with the, the nutting. First of all, I use the bottle brush. What do they call these? Chanel sticks or I don't know, what do they call them? Tinsel stems. Tinsel stems is what I use to cut them in half. So I, every joint, every joint, I did a loop and then I did two loops in between each joint. joint. So be a loop and then there's one, two, and then the next joint, right? One, two, one, two, next joint. One, two, next joint. So that's how I did it. Now, I didn't measure out my roll of, whatchamacallit, that mesh. I didn't measure it out, but one roll was absolutely perfect the way I did it. And I just do, you know, um, just a loop and then, and then twist it down. And I go every other way. So I do a loop on here, twist it, then the loop comes from this side, then from this side, then from this side. One at the joint, two in between. One at the joint, two in between. I can't do this right. <laughs> anyway. And then I just started putting gnomes on. I knew I was going to use this because of the black and white bow on it and the colors were perfect with it. But I guess what I really want to point out, you guys, is don't worry about the wreath form showing, especially if the color of it is fine with what you're doing. This happens to be like the dark, it's black. I don't think it's even dark green. It's like black. So it worked really well, obviously, with this. A silver one would have also... And then um, I want you to take note. I played with the gnome's heads a little bit, um, like this one. I knotted the loop that was for hanging it. I knotted it within itself, so it gave it a little um, pop on top. This one, I cut the loop and tied it down, so it changed the hat a little bit. I'm trying to see where else I did. Um, anyway, I was playing with those so that they weren't all exactly the same, and I only attach them with the tinsel stems. So like this guy right here, can you see? He's, see that? I attached him with the with the tinsel stick thingies. I just looped him on there, twisted it on there. Anyway, I think this is so cute. It's not doing it justice right now in my kitchen because of the background, but the picture that you're gonna see right after this is so cute, it's so adorable. So Reba, thank you very much. She sent me the skiing gnomes. I used two on here, I have two more left um and i'm gonna do something else with, with these i don't know even what yet and i might just put them on my living room wall because they're so dang cute so there's the skiing gnomes and they're on here there's one and then there's two then these are the this one is and down here also are the gift card gnomes they're gift holders this one is my favorite this little jingle bell gnome and i only found one of him and then there's the gnomes that i was like oh they could have made sitting on a shelf gnomes so just fun. This is, anyway, there's no place like home. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything stupid to say about gnomes. So I hope you guys love this. It was so easy. Watch the video now, how I made it. I think I'm going to insert a little video of my cats this morning being ridiculous. I didn't get the best part of it, but I got Moji making love to his catnip banana that I got at the Dollar Tree. Anyway, um, so they've been really funny these days because we've been gone so much. And then when we get home and in bed, they're like, you know, oh, you're home. So this morning when I got up, then they get up. It's like, oh, we're up. Mom's up. Let's get up. So they were, um, Boji was playing with his catnip banana. It's kind of funny. He loves that thing. All right. So that's it. Have a great day, great week, a great life. Um, and as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Give me some sort of Christmas emoji right now if you absolutely love the gnome wreath. And at the end, tell me um, what has been your... No, we'll save that for the last day. What's been your favorite of the 25 days? I don't know. Anyway, tell me Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas to each other. Let's have a Merry Christmas fest on my comments today. All right, guys. Uh, hey, and it is Christmas. Merry Christmas. Be kind to one another. Love you guys. All right, besties. Enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget little kitties at the end. And I'm going to go get ready for work now. <laughs> Look at the li <laughs> lipstick. It's this hideous. But I wanted him to sing that part of the song. So I had to do it before I got dressed because he was leaving so early. Because it's actually like 
It's 6.30 in the morning. Okay, but guys, I'm gonna go get ready for work. Enjoy the rest of the video. We'll see you back here tomorrow for day number 22 of my 25 days of Christmas. Enjoy. We're making a wreath. Okay, so it's just a regular wreath form, just a round one. This um, black and white decorative mesh. Okay, this color. <coughs> this one of their little ornaments says Holly and Jolly. And gnomes. We have all kinds of gnomes. And I think I'm going to use this one's broken, but I have the part. A couple of these, um, the snee or ski, snee, the ski ornaments. I have three of them because I bought one of every color. We'll see. I'm not sure how these are going to look. And then I have gnomes. So these are the gift card holder gnomes. These are just the little ones that I thought we could make shelf sitting gnomes, but I think I'm going to use them in the ornament. One of these, which is so adorable, it's the Jingle Bell gnome. And then Reba sent me, when Reba sent me the drawers that I used to make as a base for my Christmas tree, she also sent me these gnomes. Love them, so using some of these. So I'm not exactly sure, you know how this goes. I start and then we see where it goes, but I'm gonna make a gnome wreath. Thank you.